Here is another really beautiful kidney. And the reason why I say that is look how beautifully and nicely these distinct glomeruli stand out. There are so many of them. Uh, I'm wondering if this could even perhaps be a fetal kidney. I don't know, but it's a kidney in which you have a lot of beautiful, nice glomeruli. Notice how you have a capsule here. Notice how you have perirenal fat. Uh, just as a little comment, let's say you tried to peel off this capsule and it didn't peel off nicely because there was some fibrotic process here going out in the cortex. That's a sign uh, that uh, there may have been some inflammation and scarring if the capsule of the kidney doesn't peel off easily. I think you'll uh, instantly agree that we don't have to go gaga over these glomeruli because they look nice and normal. But between the glomeruli and especially the more deeper that you get into the uh, towards the pelvis, you could see that there's a lot of inflammation going on here. And if you thought that the primary cell of inflammation was a neutrophil, you could call this acute pyelonephritis involving the collecting system. If you thought they were primarily plasma cells, macrophages, or lymphocytes, you could call it chronic. If you thought it was both, you could call it acute and chronic. Now, this case was called acute and chronic, and the reason why it was is if you look here and here and here, not only are you seeing a lot of cells that look mononuclear, but they even at this power, they look very much like plasma cells to me, whereas if you go out maybe to other areas, you might see more neutrophils in that the nuclei will look a little more fragmented, like out here and out here and out here. So the correct diagnosis in this case is acute and chronic pyelonephritis. And uh, I thank you very much.